Welcome, welcome to One Minute Crypto. I'm your host, Kronos. So today, I want to talk about a new blockchain architecture that's being launched this month by two separate groups. Two separate new blockchains are being kicked off in January. The technology is called Mimblewimble, and the idea has been around for a while, but this is the first time it's being implemented in the wild. So I'm really excited about this launch. It brings new privacy, new anonymity, and better scaling to the blockchain as compared to Bitcoin. So to get into that, first, let's look at a Bitcoin block explorer. This is blockchain.com, a great place to see different stats about the Bitcoin blockchain. And let's just scroll down and look at one of the blocks that was recently mined. If you click here, this is all public information. You can see the transactions inside the block. For each transaction, I can see the source addresses and the destination addresses of every transaction and the amounts of the transaction. Now, whenever you pay Bitcoin to someone, you have a little bit left over from your source address. You pay it back to yourself as a change address. So this is probably the recipient here receiving 0.0069 Bitcoins. And then the rest of this is being sent back to the sender just as his change. So as the recipient, I can see just how much money that guy had, and I can watch this address to see the next time he uses it. And as the sender, I can watch the recipient's address and see when he uses the money. So a lot of information is being leaked out. And as a third party, I can just look through this list. I can see the amounts of the transactions. And by analyzing the blockchain, I might be able to tell who's who with these different addresses. In fact, there are entire companies that are just dedicated to analyzing these blockchains and figuring out who's paying who what amount of money. So I would say if you're using Bitcoin today, you should assume you have no privacy because this kind of stuff is public and we're only going to get better at figuring out who's who on this blockchain. So how does Mimblewimble improve this? Well, first of all, the amounts are completely encrypted and hidden. So you can't see how much money is being sent. That by itself is a big deal. But also see all these different transactions with source addresses. Mimblewimble is able to combine those into one large transaction transaction. So all of these senders would be mushed into one list of senders and all of these recipients are mushed together as well. So if you have three people paying three people, now you can't tell who's paying who by looking at the blockchain. And you can't tell how much is being sent. So much, much better privacy under the Mimblewimble protocol. But now for the first time, this technology is being implemented in the wild by two separate groups with much different philosophies. The first is called Beam. And this is a company, it raised funding from private investors, it paid developers to develop this technology and it's launching on January 3rd. And the company actually takes 20% of the proceeds of the mining to help fund the company fund development. So this is a corporate model where they have a central company, they pay developers, they pay marketers to promote the coin. So this is the corporate option. Number two, Grin is a completely community-driven approach. This one's launching January 15th, but they have no central company. It's a completely decentralized group of people contributing to it, donating to it, completely a grassroots effort. Effort. So this one has no pre-mine either. And when it launches, nothing is going to any corporate structure. Very, very fair launch. So whether you like the centralized corporate structure or you like the decentralized structure, I definitely recommend checking out Mimblewimble. The technology is awesome and it's launching January of 2019. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw them below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.